TIFUI got my GF pregnant and am freaking out. Today I fucked up by getting my 19-year-old GF pregnant. Last Sunday my GF was at my place as our plans to hang out that day was just chilling at my place. When randomly her friend started to send her TikToks saying this initial is pregnant with the letter of my GF's name. Now for some context. She has had late periods in the past that has scared us into buying pregnancy test. So I had one left over at my house. Her period was supposed to start that day too. According to iPhone health app and so I jokingly said should we take a test as we both seemingly started to assume one of us is infertile cause every test in the past has always been negative a. Eh? She took the test and it was positive. Then we went to buy five more and all the same. Now I'm 20 years old and have been with my current GF for almost two years. But five-ish years total of on and off again Ness. I currently live alone in a very very small studio without a kitchen. It's basically a small hotel room. I have a full-time job making 21 an hour but still struggle very much as my rent is 1100. I earn 1200 a check so basically I have to live off every other check making it feel like I only get paid once a month. I have almost nothing in savings. I have no idea what to do and am stressing out. I dk how to tell my family. It seems like it is not going to be aborted. X200B TLDR I need advice for incoming baby. That post history, uh, good luck I guess. You started using condoms after the first scare, right? Maybe talk to her and not Reddit. I'm going to get downvoted for this but FFS. If you can't figure out birth control options, then you shouldn't be having sex. My biggest question is how do you work full time making $21 an hour by your check is only $1,200. Edit since people keep mentioning it. I was calculating in federal healthcare and retirement. I forgot about state income tax though since I don't pay it here in Nevada Vegas. Definitely get a paternity test considering you stay strapped. If you don't abort, get a DNA test the setup to this where the friend sends a random pregnancy TikTok. You always wearing a she is pregnant. It may not be yours my dude. As far as advice goes assuming you guys decide to keep the kid I was a dad at 17. I'm now 35. If you're just working a job as opposed to a career, look into a construction union. The apprenticeship is generally five years long. But unlike college, you get paid a fairly decent wage to do it. And one of the few careers that you can make six figures without going into a lifetime of student loan debt. Best of luck to you and mama. It can be a rough journey. But it's even more rough to do it alone just trust me on that. Op. To confirm. You did actually sit down and confirm abortion is not what she wants. You said it seems like it isn't an option. Of course you need to respect her wishes but you need to be absolutely clear on this. Seems does not cut it. You need to tell her. Explicitly. You will respect her wishes and support her no matter what. But ask whether she considered an abortion. Sign up for WIC food assistance now. Pregnant women qualify for WIC if they meet other requirements. After baby is born, the food packages change to accommodate a nursing mother or formula drinking baby. Later on, baby food is added. Sign up for Medicaid now. The WIC counselor should be able to steer you toward other assistance. Like SNAP food stamps. I mean, the best advice I have to give you is to get her on your insurance if you have any. Not even considering the expenses of a baby. 
The medical costs for pregnancy and delivery are going to be extremely high without insurance of any kind. I need advice for incoming baby don't drop it. If you can't financially provide for a kid then maybe you shouldn't have the kid. There will always be more chances when you're a bit more stable. Just please don't bring a kid in this world that can't be provided for. Please. I would seriously consider an abortion. Children are very expensive and at that age. It will be very tough. Congrats. Also get a paternity test before signing the birth certificate. If you both aren't prepared to parent the child, please look into all your options, including making an adoption plan. If events lead to lawyers being involved or a support order, insist on a paternity test. You should have invested in better contraceptives. This many pregnancy scares is not normal and you thinking you were infertile is stupid and naive. Sorry to say you two should probably get an abortion or give the child up for adoption because neither of you sounds mature or is financially responsible enough for a baby. If her period was supposed to start that day she isn't even late and the accuracy of the tests may be in question. Usually pregnancy tests aren't even accurate until 3-6 weeks after the missed period. Go to a doctor get a proper test done. I'm not saying she's not I'm just saying freaking out one day after a missed period is a little premature. Edit I meant to say 3-6 weeks after ovulation. And also I will admit when I'm wrong. The science has gotten better and I wasn't paying attention. Many tests nowadays can accurately test before a period. For those saying not to have it, please understand that this choice is not mine to make like that. I became a dad at 22 unplanned with GF Hoonin had only been with for 10 months. It didn't work out for us but I made sure I still played a part in bringing him up. If you are both not ready you need to discuss options. If she decides to keep it while it is scary don't focus on the money focus on doing what is best. For your kid the rest will slot into place. Cut your dick and balls off easier that way. I've been dating my GF for over 8 years and she's never taken birth control. We've never had a scare. Pregnancy is a decision. The decision of responsibility. Do I like condoms? No. But I absolutely do not want a fucking kid now that's a responsibility I cannot handle. Adoption is an option. You're both the foo because you both did this. Just because it hasn't happened doesn't mean it won't I speak to tons of actively trying couples. And they say the same thing. Congrats I guess on being a father. I hope you're not a dud. Lean on support from your family. Youth is actually something you've got going for you in this regard most likely your folks are going to be young enough to help take care of the child while you both work and or go to school. Talk more seriously to your GF about what her plans are for the future does she want to stay home and manage the household or does she want some kind of career. Talk to her about your fears and not strangers on Reddit. You said you're 20 years old. Time to learn a trade or figure out a car and start making some money because the baby is all that matters now. Don't let your fear get the best of you and turn you into a deadbeat non-existent dad sperm donor. You didn't try to prevent pregnancy after the first scare and you also didn't talk to your girlfriend about what would happen if she ever got pregnant. If you're going to start having sex er uh, ask yourselves what if we get pregnant because you both better be in the same page. If she wants to have an abortion don't oppose it as it sounds like you are in no position to be having children right now.